Okay, so um, behind me, I have a lime washed wall. It's the first time I've ever done a lime wash project. I always wondered how walls, painted walls, could uh, have a textured look. You know, you see it in like Italian villas, or I saw it a lot when I was in places like Cuba or Tunisia, where it feels older and it feels lived in. And I always wondered how they got that look. And I did some research and as it turns out, a lot of those paints were actually done with a process called lime wash. And it's called lime wash because it uses ground up limestone. Instead of your traditional paint, uh, it's, it's got these sort of organic compounds to it. So it's not toxic, there's no VOCs, and it actually sucks CO2 out of the room. So it actually creates more oxygen in some ways in the room that you put it in. It doesn't smell, um, it's just, it's very unintrusive while you're, while you're making your wall come to life, I found. So behind me um, is what the finished product looks like, but let me kind of walk you through the process of everything it took to get here. So this is what my wall started as, sort of this muted pink color. I began by putting down a protective tarp so that way any spilled paint wouldn't get on my hardwood floor. And I took out the covers over the, uh, over the light switches. So after quite a bit of research, I found that not many companies sell lime wash paint, specifically lime wash that has a colored pigmentation to it, except for this company, Bowwork. They had a ton of options to choose from on their website, and I bought uh, all of this paint from them, including my primer, to go underneath the lime wash. I also bought this brush from them because to do this specific kind of style of painting, you need a four to six inch long brush that's got these big thick bristles like this one here. So that way you can achieve the effect that you're going for. So I started by applying the primer to the wall to get a nice base coat so that way I could apply the lime wash on top of it. I found that one coat of primer wasn't enough that I actually had to go over it twice in order to get it completely white because I was still seeing some of the previous paint come through. Next, I taped off the edges so that way I would get a nice clean line when I was finished painting the accent wall. You have to really stir it up when you purchase it because the limestone sediment uh, settles and it separates from the water that it comes with. So I used a knife and a whisk to mix the limestone with the water. And you wanna fill up your brush about halfway to three quarters of the way with paint and let it drip completely. You don't want any of the paint dripping off of the brush when you start to apply it. Now, when you're applying the brush strokes, you can see that I'm being a little timid here, but you really wanna, you wanna go with broad, long brush strokes. To make a cloud-like texture, they suggest doing this sort of X pattern that I'm doing. And you wanna extend the paint all the way out so that way you're not, um, you're not trying to get it on thick. You're trying to get as much paint out of each dip of the paintbrush as you can. So going until there's no more paint coming off of your brush anymore. Another trick is to not start on top of paint that you've already done, but to begin in a section uh, with no paint and let the edges of your paint sort of meet. Another thing to keep in mind is that you never wanna go back and fill in on your coats of paint. Uh, the best is just to let it dry, and then if there's any spots that you feel are, are, that you missed or are too light, you can always get it on your second round of application. So here's the paint in between um, application that you can see that it's separated quite a bit. So you have to keep mixing this throughout the process. It's not just to mix it once and you're good for the rest of the time. And so now you can see what it looks like after the first application. It's a pretty wild, almost abstract style looking paint on your wall. So 
So after I let it sit for about three hours, I came back and I opened it up and I re-stirred to get the paint mixed back in with the water. And I began my second application. I started in a different area of the wall than I did on the first coat, just so I could get a slightly different gradient and variation on it. You can see where I'm starting my, uh, my brush strokes separate from the previous brush strokes, so that way the edges of my application can, can meet. And so after two coats and letting it dry for about two hours, this was the final product. A big shout out to this company for making lime wash paint. I don't know anyone else that's doing it as well as they're doing it. And their paint certainly, um, certainly proved to be effective and beautiful. And I'm super happy with it. And I'm going to do my bedroom uh, as my next lime wash project. Okay, so uh, that's how I made this lime wash wall behind me. I hope that you're brave enough to try it, maybe even make your own lime wash uh, paint substance if you're courageous enough. Um, yeah, good luck. <laughs>